Hey everyone, Lewis from Skullbusters, and today I'm going to show you a new tactic you can use while the zombies are available in uh, Warzone. So it'll only be for a couple of days while we've got the zombies in Verdansk. And then I'd expect once we go to the new map, uh, we'll have no more zombies. But it's a really useful way of playing, different way of playing, gives a bit of diff uh, different gameplay. And if you've got uh, a good squad, uh, I'd recommend you use this just to mix it up. And if you've got a re really good squad who can take out more uh, more teams than they, they are, so like a two on three, and it, if they can handle uh, more players, definitely worth a go. So all you gotta do, become a zombie. So you just drop in the nuclear fallout zones, whatever they are, where you become a zombie. And once you've done that, you become a walking UAV. Now I'm pretty sure that this counteracts ghost so because it, it wouldn't make sense for the zombies not to be able to see anyone who's on ghost and you can basically spot uh, the t enemy teams on the map and we all know knowledge is power and this is better than an advanced UAV it lasts forever and it can spot people even within 50 meters with ghost on what I would recommend is do, obviously do it with a squad you know otherwise your teammates like you might see later on in the video will buy you back in because they don't know what you're doing even though you're marking enemy teams on the map uh, they need to be a good team and make sure you don't engage the enemy head on because zombies are quite weak they only take a couple of hits to get down and even if you surprise someone chances are they can get you down uh, what is useful, they've got the gas grenade and the EMP blast, so the gas grenade could help your squad, so if you charge jump over a, a squad, uh, throw your gas grenade at them, that'll give you, your squad the edge over them when they're aiming down sights, particularly if they're in, in the open, or running across to more cover. Um, you can also run in the gas, so if you, you stay alive till late on, you can actually flank around teams where they're de definitely not going to expect you to come from and just give your team the edge especially when they're mo I think it, when they're moving in the open that's going to be the best time to use the gas grenade because it'll slow them down they can't aim down the sights and your team can just blitz them with a AUG M16 if it's out in the open one if it, they're all hiding in a room just throw a gas grenade in there and uh, your team will max 10 them so yeah, I hope this video helps. I th think it's just uh, spices things up while everyone's using just ridiculously o overpowered weapons at the moment. But hopefully that update from uh, Ravens coming soon to sort out all the weapons and bring them all back in line with the modern warfare weapons and just make the game a bit more fun again. So yeah, hope this video helps. Uh, hope it spices things up for you and. Uh, if you like this video, like it, comment below if you've got any more ideas that you want to see. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all later.